Charlotte Flair without Charlie versus Alexa Bliss with Lily for the Raw Women's Championship. A warning to any young listeners, we are going to be uh, covering a live death on a pay-per-view. Lily was placed in the corner to watch this. Uh, Bliss got a pretty good reaction being here in her hometown of Columbus. And the match uh, the match was going uh, fine. Flair attempted a moonsault off the top, landed on her feet, did the Andrade follow-up with the standing moonsault landing. And then at one point she hit natural selection and Alexa like did not register it. And it did not feel like this was part of like the supernatural aspect of Alexa. It was just like the match continued with no acknowledgement of this natural selection. It was a little odd. Flair tried another moonsault off the top. Bliss got her feet up and hit a big near fall with a code red. Uh, the twisted Bliss misses off the top. Bliss then counters the figure four with an inside cradle and connects with a DDT. Flair gets her foot on the rope. And then Alexa gets sent into the post in the corner. This time, Flair hits natural selection, which keeps Alexa down. I, I think the earlier natural selection was supposed to be Alexa evading it. And it, it happened really not. quick. Yeah. Well, this match went 11 minutes, 26 seconds. Charlotte Flair retains the championship. Uh, first off, your thoughts on the match before we get to the uh, fireworks after. I thought the match was going really well. You know, I, I didn't take like the, the earlier natural selection to be a botch. I thought I thought it was just her way of of evading to go to her comeback. But it ended up being a classic Alexa Bliss babyface match. Throughout the body of the match, there really was no hocus pocus at all, which is, I think, a departure from a lot of the matches that we've seen her and Bray Wyatt do uh, over the course of the past year. Um, and as a result, I thought it, it was some really good action. And th- that this crowd really got behind. Um, but the end was like, you know, that's where you had to deal with, right? I don't even have as much of, of an issue with the doll being a focal point as I think my issue is more so the lack of creativity and cleverness in the way that they got there. It was simply Charlotte tossing the doll from the corner into her, leading to the big boot and then natural selection, which is like a weak finish of hers, her secondary finish for the finish. So I, I, I thought that was pretty weak, but I mean... Focus had to be put on the doll. I just wish they got there in a more clever way. Would this qualify in the top 10 for the WWE.com list of hometown stars uh, coming up short? Um, This wasn't too bad. Probably not. I mean, uh, you know, losing clean in your hometown. You could have gotten a lot. You could have been treated much worse. Oh, there are far more notable hometown embarrassments than this. Yeah. Flair takes Lily. And rips the doll apart. Bliss jumps Charlotte. And then Charlotte fights off Alexa. Like, just leaves her laying over the announcer's desk. I mean, Charlotte, just dominant, walks out. And then Bliss is standing on the desk looking uh, frightening and screams. And she went into the ring and took the scattered parts of Lily. And she began crying. This crowd starts chanting, thank you, Lily. And I, I thought this was the best chant of the night. <laughs> thank you, Lily. And Alexa Bliss started foaming at the mouth, which I guess everybody saw the, uh, the tricks of the trade here, too. Uh, this was not, she was not actually foaming at the mouth. There actually was a tablet that assisted in this foaming way. And this oh. was uncovered on Twitter. Yeah, but it was, it was just poorly done. You know, like you don't you shouldn't go to a close up of somebody who's well, I mean, she's supposed to be foaming at the mouth, but I guess it wasn't foaming well enough or like she the problem was she was screaming as the tablet was still in there. So her mouth was wide open as you could see the Tums on her tongue. Who is the road agent for this? Um, Booking a screaming spot when we've got uh, something hidden yeah. in her mouth. Come on. Well, listen, this is it's not just pro wrestling at this point, especially when you're talking about a character like this. It is a it's theater. And, you know, when you're and it's live theater for TV. So you have to be very conscious of these close ups. And uh, this just kind of killed the illusion, unfortunately. I mean, if if the doll stuff didn't kill the illusion enough, a lot of things were killed during the, these couple of minutes. Uh, yeah. And I guess tomorrow we will get obviously there is going to be an angle. Well, this was our angle, but the follow up. Uh, do you still see Charlotte being attached to this? Like she was the one responsible for this Lily stuff. I don't get the sense that they're necessarily moving away from this, although it does feel like they're trying to kind of set Alexa back into a, a heel spotlight from this after 
being the baby face for this program. It's hard for me to read. Like, could this be her? It could be anything. Just getting rid of the character and just going back to Alexa Bliss. I don't know. But I mean, the draft represents a fresh start to a lot of people. She could very well move shows and, you know, join what's going on on SmackDown. I don't see them dropping this character. I see them. I saw this as like just reinforcing the, the character and going even darker with this. We'll see.